I never wanted this love I never want to fall in love I never wanted this love I never want to fall in love Cause I know Love hurts Love hurts Abu Gini Kandene Kambana Risa Budinua Abu Gini Kandene Kambana Risa Budinua Abu Gini Kandene Kambana Risa Budinua Talk to me. Ah! You should be in your husband's house by now. <gasps> you even crying. Hey! Somto, Dennis is dead. What? Sister, how? Somto, your sister has suffered. I have suffered it. Life have been so unfair to me. Ah! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sister is okay. I've suffered. Mm -mm. But I go mad for four. But I go mad for four. Ay! Sister, calm down. Dennis! Hey! Oh, I'm ma! Oh, I'm going to Hey! Dennis! Hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! Denise. Stop crying. It's okay. Hey! Sumto, I'll go my I know. It's okay. I'll go my You can stay here for today. Tomorrow you're out. I don't want you to feel I'm being harsh to you. I understand. At least. For old times' sake. No. For humanity's sake. That's why I'm doing this. Thank you. You're welcome. So, can you tell me what happened to you and your business? I will tell you everything you need to know. But I need to get some rest. Of course. I'll check on you later.
since I came back today, you've been like this. You've been so quiet. What is going on? I'm fine. You are not fine, darling. Yeah. You are not fine. I know you. I know who I married. You are always happy around me. What now? I believe me, I'm fine. Believe you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe you. Come here. Um, please, not tonight. I'm not really in the mood. I can do that next time, please. I said it. You are not okay. Okay. Good night. I did. You, you look very sexy and you're nighty. Thank you. I brought you clothes and food. Oh. Thank you. But I I thought you said I, I will leave today. Yeah. I know I said that. But I changed my mind. Ever since you came. Yesterday. The thought of you makes me happy. Please don't go there. I'm already there. I don't think I have ever loved giving my heart to any man the way I did to you. Your, your husband will be waiting for you. As a matter of fact, he has gone to work. I'm happy you're back in tomorrow. And I want to believe that this time around, you're for real. Hmm. Oh. Um. When will be convenient for the brothers' burial? Um, well, it is not in my jurisdiction to decide that. You have to meet with your kinsmen. Whatever dates you people choose is okay by me. Um, well, uh, I, I want you to understand that uh, you are now a busy person. Uh, for this reason, I wouldn't want uh, the burial of your brother to clash with your busy schedule. That's my concern. Uh, Every other thing can wait until my brother is buried. See, I want to give him a befitting burial. In that case, uh, I, I will meet with my kinsman and uh, whatever arrangement we agree on, I, I will relate with you as soon as possible. Yes. Um, Paul, what about my grandson? Are you going to allow him to stay with that girl? No, Mama. It's not possible. Well, I'm quiet on the issue of wisdom because of uh, uh, my brother is not buried yet. Uh, once uh, he's led to rest, I will now move to that one. 
Chidema uh, must return that boy. Must. Mm -hmm. But one more thing. If we collect this boy from Chidema, who will take care of him? I am here. I trained you and your brother. Why wouldn't I take care of that small one? I'm here. You can stay with me. That is not a problem. Oh? Yes. It's okay. No problem. Respect vows taken on the holy altar of God. It's not right. Well, allow me worry myself with that. Uh, Rose, 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 stop, 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 please. Stop. This is a sin. We don't have to give in to it. Stop. Since I married James, I've not given him a child. Maybe after doing this with you, my womb will open and I'll bear him child. No, no, not Rose. Rose, stop. It doesn't work that way. You can't commit sin when you're asking God for a favor. You have to be steadfast in prayers. You have to be faithful. You have to believe in him. And he will give you your own child at his own time. You can't possibly cheat on your husband. No. That is not the best idea. and forever gone. No amount of tears will bring him back. I am not crying for Denise. Rather, I am crying for myself. What do you mean? I went too far to lure Denise into marrying me. Yes. But I never knew it was going to be like this. I never knew it was going to be like this. And this soon. The worst thing any woman can do is to catch a man into marrying her. Because the repercussion very strong. That was the worst thing 
That was my worst mistake. Because anyone that used charm on any man, the day that man realizes himself, he will hate her. It's very wrong. Because the repercussion is not just for the girl. The man might be sick or even dead. Just like in the case of Dennis. <sighs> no, I went far. Ah, oh, Chidima, you went far! I went far. <sighs> if only the young people out there who know that charm is not good, that you can't use charm to hold anybody forever. Because it's going to harm you. It's going to haunt you. Just the way it's haunting me. Mm. I come. Mm -mm. Hey. I may come. Oh. Sister. I may come. Hey. Sister. <sighs> I understand everything you just said. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Iman Wata. Mm-mm. No understand anything. Ah. Just ask God for forgiveness. <sighs> He's a merciful God. He will forgive you. Ask God for forgiveness. Yes. Will he even listen to me? Yes. Okay, what will I tell him? What name will I call him? What will I tell him that I did? <sighs> Sister is okay. <sighs> it's only few men that resist the temptation of having sex with a pretty lady like me. You're not just a pretty lady, but a married woman. And any man that have sexual intercourse with a married woman has simply mortgaged his future into uncertainty. And that is wrong. Either from the face of God, the face of men, even in the spirit world. So my mother told me. So, why did you choose to do it? I'm sorry. I lost control of my actions. I thank God you controlled me. My husband is back. Yeah. What? He's back so early. Uh, but it's not early. And this is 6.32 p.m. How did you know what the time is? Um, let, let's not let's not worry about what the time. Well, how I how I uh, knew what the time says. Just just go. Your husband wants to see you. He's back. Oh my goodness! What? I'm still in my nights. You saw when you left me when you went to the office this morning. Oh, I, I guess. Spending time with your loved one, you won't even know when the time elapses. Yeah, you're right. And you? You're not eating your food. A week later. Sweetheart, I'm 
Baby. What's wrong with you? Why are you still on your night and this clothes are still here? Since morning, what happened? I'm just sleeping all day. Are you okay? Yeah, sure. But I think I have malaria. Then you have to see the doctor. Yes, sir. You still need to see the doctor. Okay? Come on. Have you eaten something? No, honey. Alright, you get up and take a shower, okay? Please. Get up. Oh. What's the problem? You look moody. Something tells me you're... You were heartbroken the way I left you. Hmm. Yes. I was very angry and heartbroken. Well, as you can see, I'm fine now. I say, you know, a heartbroken woman can go to any length to seek revenge, right? I don't get you. When I left you, my business collapsed. I lost everything I worked for. And that tells me one thing. But I will not conclude until you tell me. Like I said, I was angry, but that's bygone. Let's say perhaps all that you said happened to you is as a result of what you did to me. Maybe the rub of everything. Did you take any step to seek for revenge? Well, when you left me, I felt my world was about to crumble. The only place I could find comfort at that moment was in the house of God. I went to church. I made some kind of praise that wasn't really nice over your life. <sighs> well, one of the reasons I came to your house is to apologize for all the wrongs I did to you. Now that I have your forgiveness, 
I am happy. I will have rest of mind. Thank you for coming. I feel same way you feel. I I haven't really been myself. It's like I have this this weight on me ever since I made that prayer over your life. But now that confessed to you, fear relieved. I'm going to miss you forever. Take very good care of you. I will. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you too. Okay. I have to go make food for my husband. Sure. So, what's the next plan? Well, um, I will reach to my parents to let them see why they should support us. But if they fail not to listen to me or be in support of this wedding, I think I know what to do. Okay, so when do you think um, our marriage will come up? Um, in a month's time, yeah, in a month's time, we'll be married. In a month's time? Yes. Don't you think that's too sudden? Oh, come off it. <laughs> 